Hi, this is Mark Siegel, and in this podcast, I'm going to go over how to set up your marking period so that the category weights or total points or whatever you're going to use uh, calculates the final grade for the marking period properly for your students. So, uh, obviously, you need to power, uh, log into PowerSchool first, and along the left hand side, you're going to click on settings, the big star gear. Now, there's a bunch of options here, but we're going to focus in on traditional grade calculations. You should get something that looks like this. Um, now, some of the things that are listed here might be different for you, because uh, I've already set up three of my four classes. I am focusing on just this fourth class. And I want to make some uh, modifications to the category weights. Now, Y1, you're going to leave alone, because the district has already set that up for you. Yay! So uh, if you want to modify the M1, M2, M3, M4, you click on the pencil down here on the side. And you should get a screen that looks like this. Now sometimes uh, one of the categories is already there and that would be district quarterly and sometimes it's not. So what you want to do is you want to click the plus sign so that you have at least two categories. And the reason you need at least two um, depends on how you set up your gradebook. So um, if you are doing total points for the marking period, what you need to do is you need to have two categories. Category one needs to be your quarterly because no matter what your quarterly has to be 20 percent okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the type drop down arrow you're gonna click category weight on the attribute you're gonna click district quarterly and then under weight you're gonna cl click 20 now don't worry if the percent's not 20 because right now your weights don't make any sense so once we do all of them you'll be good under your other category you need to set up a category called general and all of your assignments would go in the general category, and that category would be worth 80%. So that 80% represents all your other assignments, and 20% represents your quarterly. Um, now that's only if you're doing a total points program. If you're doing things that are percentages like I am, you're going to need to add the appropriate number of assign uh, categories so that you have everything in there. Now I have three categories plus my quarterly, so I'm going to have four different things here. And all I'm going to do is repeat what I did for the quarterly for each of my categories. So I have a category called tests and quizzes, and tests and quizzes are 50. Then I have another category for homework, and my homework category is 10. And then lastly, I have a category weight for labs, and that category weight is 20. And when I hit over, my percentages you'll now see match the weight that they have. And that's how I know I got to 100. If for some reason I did my math wrong, and let's say I did 25 here, Instead, you'll see that the percents and the weights don't match. And this is the one that's the most important, is that your quarterly says 20 in this percentage. So then you just go back and fix whatever you did. Nothing saved yet. When I'm all done, I click the Save button. Now, before I hit Save, I just want to mention one other thing, is if I accidentally add too many categories, don't worry, uh, just hit the negative, this little dash over here, and it'll delete that line from your calculation. Then you click Save. Do, 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 do. And it's done. Now, that's how you set it up for the marking period. Now, here's the thing. Here's the bad news. Currently, there is no way to, cop to copy the grade setup for one marking period to the grade setup for another marking period, and you can't do it for copy from class to class. So, if you have six classes and you have four marking periods, you have to do this 24 times. I'm sorry. S send a message to Pearson so that they know that they have to fix this because that is a desperate need. Um, now, something else we have come across is if uh, your semester one seemed to be no issue, but if you don't see semester two right now, don't freak out, but you may have to do this whole process again at the beginning of semester two, and an email will go out reminding everyone that, that anyone with semester two classes that you will have to do that. But you're gonna follow the exact same procedure you just did and set up your category weights. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to uh, Eileen Fallon or myself, and we are happy to come over and help you deal with whatever issue is currently going on uh, with your power school.